One oh. way is to bring blood flow from your arm and run it down the side and do this. And that's the least invasive and the least stressful on your heart and lungs. Okay? But it doesn't last as long because it's a long artificial artery tube. Mm -hmm. The other way is to either go in your belly or in your chest and get a much go to a much bigger artery and get blood flow that way. But that's a lot more invasive and a lot more risky. So in order to figure that out, we ought to look at your heart and lungs to see what you're going to tolerate. Mm -hmm. If we can't do the one from here and here, then we only have one option, right. and we go after that. But it would help both legs? Yeah, when we bring okay. both of them, come down and then jump to each leg. This okay. comes down and goes across. Sometimes you use the left arm, sometimes the right arm. Okay. It just depends on what, what we're looking at. So, But we have to look at your heart and lungs to figure that out. Okay? That's good. It doesn't really matter which of those two I do. If you continue to smoke tobacco, you will lose your legs in the next couple of years, most likely. Okay? All I'm doing is getting blood flow to here. You still have blockage okay. here and here and here and here. Okay? And when you smoke, those arteries constrict down. And when they constrict down, they limit blood flow. And smoking also accelerates the hardening of the arteries. And you create more and more blockages. And right. you won't be the first person, if you don't listen to me, I need a, that I need a substitute, bro, because it is, it is the thing that I was... No problem. Uh, we'll with, get you, you to know. your primary care doctor, and your primary care doctor can get you on some stuff to get you to stop smoking. Because, but I'm telling you, yeah. if you don't, you're going to be a problem. And if well, I do surgery and you continue to smoke, those bypasses won't last very long. I'm right. back with the same problem. I'm not against. Everybody's telling me stuff, and then I, I do the stuff they tell me, and then they ain't like, you're not listening. I, uh, they, uh, I got a freezer full of sausage. I'm not eating sausage. I'm eating boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So they've been, you know, and doing like, but no, see. So and the it, major the issue is you're smoking. It's no tobacco. So, so no tobacco. Yeah. Okay. But I got to have something else. I, I don't know, Skittles okay. or, I don't know. Yeah. So we'll get your primary care doctor that, but we're going to have to get a heart stress test to go figure out what your heart and lungs can tolerate, okay? Because uh, I can't open your chest up. Where is the pain coming from? Where is that the most ungodly pain? Because you don't have pain. enough blood flow to your legs. So, isn't that makes the bone hurt? Mm -hmm. That is the most excruciating thing that I've, I've ever, ever felt. Mm -hmm. Ever felt. I had a doctor. You can have some spinal problems on top of that, but we know that your blood flow is not very good. That's been legs. one thing I was describing to her that yes. that was one thing, and that's I, I can't put a, I can't tolerate. But that that goes away. Yeah. But this during the night I cannot sure. sleep. I can't turning. I can't lay on my side. I can't and, and I end up having to bring the little table in there and take the couch cushions and stack them up so I can sleep yeah, like that's this. That's because using and, gravity to get more blood flow. And that only flat. But then get two or three hours best. Now, I'm not going to help butt flow to your pelvis and your buttocks. That is all completely blocked. So you still may have buttocks pain. I'm trying to help down your leg pain down your legs, and you still have blockage down here. So I'm going to get you over the hump, but I'm not going to get you back normal. Okay? Yeah, well, I just got this thing. Yeah, you mentioned that. So he needs a right echocardiogram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, cardiac stress test. Mm -hmm. Most likely going to be butamine because he's not going to tolerate yeah. any other stress test. Yes. Butamine stress test, PFTs, yep. room air gas. Okay. Okay. They need all four of those studies, and then we'll see you back after those four studies. Okay. And we'll figure out what what you can t what's going to be too risky and what's going to be okay. Because if we can get a bigger graft in, it's going to last longer. If we get through a smaller graft, it won't last as long. Okay. Okay. But I don't want you to have to take extra risks if you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is this like a time frame he needs to get this like within like a month or like weeks or oh, but whatever it fits his schedule? He's the only one to tell you how much he's hurting. Okay, okay. all right. Uh, yeah, um, about that. Is, is there anything that I can do about that? Because I've, I, I understand taking too much of anything, but I'll tell you, I'm taking like five aspirin a day. I try to route it that I take two in the afternoon and then I can take three more that night and then I, it does, that does what it does, but it's not work. This is no, not work. No, it's working. very different. That's the problem. The pain is very excruciating. Um, the other thing to do is you need to get you to see your primary care doctor. Okay. I when have you last seen he or she? Last last time I was treated for a heart attack. That was fifteen. So you haven't seen a primary care doctor in five 15? years. Five years. That's right. Okay. Who's your primary care doctor? He doesn't. I don't have one anymore because they sent me a letter said we're not your primary care doctor anymore. You'll be replaced by so and so, and I don't remember the name, but they told me. It's my okay, new so primary we care doctor. Family practice, so we're somewhere here to get us primary care to get all the other stuff instituted about smoking cessation. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I'll I'll quit I'll quit smoking. Okay. I have no problem with it. I quit drinking. Uh, okay. They just told me to quit, and I quit. Good. All right. Well, let's well, get those studies. See what we can do to get you more blood flow. Okay.
but yeah, the smoking might be an actual problem for me as far as. No problem. We'll get you some help. Okay. We get, you're not the first person to, we've come to see us that has smoking issues. Okay. All right. I understand. Okay. Hang on and we'll get some stuff ordered for you. Thank you, bud. Did you record all that? Uh, most of it. Good, because I need to know. Damn right. Yeah. I want mama to hear Yeah, they're getting ready to cut my legs off. Yeah.